a man is trying to push a box, as shown. Now, name the forces P and Q acting on the box. Now, what are the two forces? Now, if you look at force Q, which is pointing downwards, right? Force Q is pointing downwards. So we know the gravitational force is pointing downwards because it is pulling the box towards the center of the earth. So Q could be gravitational force. But how about P? P would be the frictional force because frictional force is the force that opposes motion and acts between two surfaces. Now, this box is being pushed to the right. So the frictional force will be acting towards the left and it will be between the two surfaces the box and the ground so the two forces p and q will be the frictional force as well as the gravitational force let's take a look at part b so state one effect a force can have on an object now what are the effects of forces what can forces do that basically five main effects of forces. They are a force in cause and stationary object to start moving. Right? If you give it a push, the object will start moving. A force in cause a moving object to stop moving. Or you can use a force and stop the object from moving. A force can cause a moving object to change speed. You give it a push and the object will move faster or slower. And number four, a force can cause a moving object to change direction. I can give you a push and the object will turn left or turn right. And the force can cause an object to change shape. Right? So if you can just like take a piece of plasticine, a, a, a clay, you can just press it and cause it to change shape. So in this case, which effect of force is most relevant? I will choose effect number one. A force can cause a stationary object to start moving because if you give the box a push, the box will, pull, will move, right? So your force will cause the stationary object to start moving. But of course, in this case, the question did not ask us to give an effect of force that's based on this question. So I presume that you can give any other effects of forces and you will still be marked correct. But I will give the one that's most relevant to this situation, which is a force can cause a stationary object to start moving. Let's take a look at part C. The man found that no matter how hard he pushed, he was not able to move the box. Explain why. Why is, not, why is he not able to push the box? Now, he's not able to push the box because the forces are balanced, right? Well, let's take a look at the forces that's acting on the box. What is the force that's opposing his pushing force? You're right. It is the frictional force, right? It's the frictional force. The frictional force P is moving in the opposite direction and it is equal to the pushing force by the man. So if the man is pushing at 100 newtons, the frictional force is probably also pulling back at 100 newtons. That is why he's not able to move the box forward. So for him to be able to move the box forward, whatever his pushing force he is pushing has to be greater than the frictional force that is opposing him. So he can't do it because the pushing force is not greater. All right? And the pushing force is equal to the frictional, the pushing force is equal to the frictional force between the surfaces. Or we can say that the pushing force is just not greater. Right? He's not able to push a force that's greater than the frictional force and therefore the box does not move. Okay? So these are two, the, the two ways of saying the same thing. All right? Uh, both are possible answers. Let's take a look at part D. Suggest one way to help the man move the box easily in the direction as shown. Now, to move the box easier, you have to reduce the amount of frictional force that was opposing him, right? So, if you to reduce the frictional force, there are two main reasons, uh, we, uh, ways we can reduce the frictional force. One will be using lubricant. The other will be using wheels or ball bearings. So in this case, I can easily use uh, wheels or ball bearings by putting the box onto a trolley. Now I will not put lubricant in this case, but you want to put lubricant all over the floor and make your floor all oily and stuff. So I don't think I will do that. So the better way will be to use wheels, which is just simply put a box onto a trolley. And that's it. It'll be easier for you to push the box. So that's all for this question. All right. And I hope you have learned something in this video. I look forward to see you again in the next video. See ya.